YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're checking out South Park. Freemium isn't free. I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for me to get to this episode, but I've been doing season 18 in order, and I didn't want to... I didn't want to jump to another another episode. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, listen, if you want to take your support to the next level and get access to full episode reactions, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, Kyle. Kyle, hang on a sec. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? Not much. I just wanted to make sure you've heard the f fantastic news. There's a new Terrence and Philip mobile game, and it's so amazing and incredibly fun. Oh, really? Yeah. And the most unbelievable part? It's totally free. You should download it to your phone right now. I mean, come on. If it's free, why wouldn't you? <laughs> cool. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, I'll check it out. You bet you, pal. What the hell? Yeah, that was that was kind of awkward, wasn't it? Like Kyle walked away and then Jimmy just stood there. And then moments later walked. I don't know. It, it, it was really, really weird. How many Canadian coins would you like to buy? Ah. This is well, it's just 49 cents for the cheapest one. You buy 200 Canadian coins for 49 cents. You're amazing. Now use that Canada to help. Canada? Canada. <laughs> like I like that. Canada. It's still stupid, and now I paid 49 cents for it. What are you two boners doing? We're playing the Terrence and Philip freemium game. I played that thing. It's fucking dumb. I ended up paying like five bucks. <laughs> Who makes this crap? Oh, it's Yo, is that the prince? 200,000 more American dollars in just one day. Where is the roof on this thing? What's the big idea, making a mobile game without our approval? Oh, Terrence oh. and Philip, how are Canada's two favorite buddies? What gives you the right to make a stupid Terrence and Philip mobile game? Who do you think you are? Oh, I'm only the Prince of Canada, and this happens to be the Minister of Mobile Gaming. We thought you would be pleased with the quality of the mobile game. It's the dumbest game ever. All you do is collect and spend Canada. Hey, we know the game's not great, but who cares? It's free, but it's not free. If you charge 40 cents here and 50 cents there, then it's not free. Right, right. But that's that's how most games are now. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's even games that you pay for that you still buy have to buy the the, the virtual uh, currency if you don't want to grind it out, you know, like the old way, you feel me? Because it takes so long. NBA 2K being one of the examples, you feel me? Shut up! Oh, Allow damn. me to explain the science behind MicroPay Freemium Gaming. Freemium. The meum is Latin for not really. It's a simple cycle. <laughs> is it really? A never-ending loop based on RPGs. Explore, collect, spend, improve. We've introduced the idea of micro-paying with money. Money, 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 money. It's what Damn. everyone is doing. Freemium games are what's now. And it's all just a lot of harmless fun. Yo, these companies are really like that, though, man. These companies are really like that, where the game is free and then you got to pay for everything else. Which, I mean, it works out, but in the long run, you end up spending more money than you would if you just bought one game releasing every year. You know what I mean? You're in big trouble, Stanley. Can you explain to us how you managed to spend $489 on a mobile app? Oh my God. I didn't realize I spent that much. Stan, just because I make a good living with my music doesn't mean you can go blow it all on Canada. I'll pay you back for it, okay? How? I don't know, I'll figure it out, Jesus Christ. Can you believe him? Hold on, hold on, hold on, how? <laughs> Maybe because I'm a dad, right? But how dare you run up the bill $500 and then have the audacity to be mad at me because I asked you about it because I called you on it. That's not your money, bro. You're not the one paying the bills. I am. Yo, these kids be tripping. The successful freemium game is based on five principles. Entice the player with a simple game loop. Use lots of flashing to chings and compliments to make the player feel good about themselves. Train the players to spend your fake currency. Offer the players a way to spend real currency for your fake currency so they'll forget they're spending money. And make the game about waiting. But let the player pay not to wait. It's a surefire way to make lots of money. We 
understand. I mean, it is. Okay? He's not but lying, bro. Can't the game hidden inside the charade it just at least be fun? No, no. It has to be just barely fun. If the game was too fun, then there would be no reason to micropay in order to make it more fun. What's That's this? That's crazy. Your checks, of course, for 10 million American dollars each. 20 million so dollars? Everyone is, doing this. Everyone is doing it. That's just their cut. So imagine how much money everybody else is making, dog. Did you play the Terrence and Philip Freemium game all day? Well, yeah, I was sick in bed. What else was I going to do? How much money did you micropay today, Stan? Nothing. Dude, I bought like $10 worth of Canada. But check it out. I unlocked a stadium in Toronto. Like Jimmy said, it's a cool way to zone out. Wait, wait, wait. Jimmy told you about this game? Jimmy told me about this game. Kenny, who told you about this game? Goo? Dude, what oh. the... Oh. Is there an incentive for Jimmy to promote the game? Hey, kid, come over here. The Terrence and Philip mobile game. Your yeah, mom is cool on the corner. <laughs> uh, Just try it out. You can be Terrence or Philip or both. You can walk around and collect candy cash to build your stuff. Yeah, he's definitely getting board. paid, bro. And honestly, the best part about There's it no is way he's not. I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you download it and just try it out? Let me ask you something, Jimmy. What happens on level two after you get the Ontario Nugget? All right, all right. I never played it. I stay away from this. <laughs> you just push it on other people. They pay me too. Who, oh, Jimmy? Who pays you? Yo, he's he's like a like a drug dealer, bro. Like he doesn't get high off his own supply, but he puts everybody else onto it. You know what I mean? What is the matter? It seems dishonest, and we have a brand to protect. <laughs> but just look at all the things we're getting to build. Soon Canada will be as advanced and developed as Michigan. We're just worried that some people will abuse the game and start spending more money than they can afford. Oh, no. Well, we certainly wouldn't want that. Do you really think that would help? Of course. The alcohol industry does it all the time. Oh, shit. You, friends, fun, drink, hot girls, you're hot, drink more, expensive cars, ass, drink, ass, money, you in a tuxedo, threesome, vodka, pussy, drink, 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 you, drink, <laughs> Vegas, fun, pussy, you in a tuxedo, fucking this girl, vodka, drink, 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 drink it all, you fucking pussy, more tuxedos, more cars, more pussy, more vodka, drink, drink, drink. Bro, this is nuts. Please drink response. <laughs> <laughs> After all of that, bro, after they paint this picture that you can get laid, you can have fun, you got your friends, have a good time, sex, 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 drink responsibly at the end, yo, they're bugging. That's really how it is, though. That's really how it is. That's the funny part. Three feathers? <laughs> Come on, this way, Stan. I want you to see this. There you go. That's your grandpa. He sits at that slot machine and mindlessly drains money away a little bit at a time. Sound familiar? All the little sounds and lights are calculated to keep him sitting at that stupid machine. Oh, Come damn. on, Dad, we're going home. I ah, didn't, go this, like, I didn't think about that. There's definitely a direct correlation between the whole setup of the casino and how the video game itself is working on the phone. I just don't understand what is wrong with you two. What is the joy that this stuff possibly brings you? It's just... It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's not fun. You two have demons you're trying to compensate for. Well, Look at Grandpa, bro. My man is just, <laughs> he's just chilling there with Stan. Like, they're both in trouble for doing the same exact thing. But they're both in, they're both going through different parts of life. You know what I'm saying? One is old as dirt, and then the other one's just a kid. You feel me? What about you? You're having a glass of wine. I'm not having a glass of wine. I'm having six. It's called a tasting, and it's classy. <laughs> Dad, I'm not addicted. I can stop. I just like playing it, but I don't have to. Bro, that's called a drinking problem. Like, what do you mean? My man had cup after cup after cup after cup of wine waiting for him. If you two stop, then we won't have a problem anymore. <laughs> hmm. Earthy, bold, hint of cherry aftertones. <laughs> Buddy. Come on, guy. Come Bro, on, just man. uninstall it. We've just given you five thousand Canadian coins. Oh, Enjoy your Canada. That, that's the one right there. Free? I told you that's the one right there. What is and wrong know, with you, Stan? You know what's crazy about this whole situation right there? Um the 5,000 Canada, right? It doesn't cost the company anything to give that out for free. 
It doesn't because at the end of the day, it's all just coding. You're paying for nothing. You're literally paying for somebody to transfer the coding over to your app, to your account. So it shows that you have those credits and then you spend those credits and got to buy more again. The whole thing, the whole thing is a scam, bro. If you think about it. You said you stopped buying Canada. I didn't think I spent that much. I, I clicked on a few micro pays and it just kind of added up. $26,000? Do you know how many songs I have to write to make back that much money? <laughs> bro, that is a whole vehicle. $26,000. Holy shit. One. Oh, it's just nothing to you, isn't it? No, no, it's not. You need to realize oh that you have something in your brain God. that you somehow inherited from your grandpa that makes you act this way, okay? I don't know how you can say that when you're standing here chugging beer. I am not chugging beer. I'm sampling a flight of gluten-free German lagers with a French wine pairing. It's called a smorgasbord and it's elegantly cultural. Oh, it was one of those? <laughs> Rick is wild. I said Rick, I'm at Randy. Yo, I'm so I'm doing so many shows, I'm mixing up the characters. My bad, y'all. We have to find a way to get the word out. People need to know pushers are being hired to take advantage of people with addiction problems. There has to be a way we can get to the news company and sneak in and somehow borrow their TV signal. If we can disguise ourselves as something ridiculous, okay. then maybe done. What's done? The word is out. Terrence and Philip hired pushers to make money off addicts. I tweeted it. It's trending. Damn, good stuff. Pushes to get addicts hooked on our freemium. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What does that say? Target addicts use fake campaign uh, to feign concern. Drink responsibly. Lie to Terrence and Philip. Oh my God. Mobile phones and tablets. Not enough RAM for integrity. Uh, emotional pain. Crying for relief. Uh, what is that? What is that? Preoccupation with substance or behavior. Substance use of compulsive behavior or compulsive behavior. Short term. What? Short term pain release. Yo, what, what does that one say? Negative consequences resulting from everyone. Depression, guilt or shame. More pain, low self-esteem. God dang. Yo, that's that's an evil plan right there, bro. I guess I have something inside me that I can't control. Something kind of dark. Please. Help show me the way. Damn, that was quick. Oh, that's not God. That is Satan, bro. At, yo, at what point do you stop listening to Jimmy? He already he already led you in the wrong direction, bro. At what point do you stop listening to Jimmy? You have summoned the Prince of Temptation. For what purpose? Oh shit. Uh, I have addiction demons and I don't understand them. Then allow me to explain the darkness of the human soul. So you've got dopamine, right? That's the chemical that gets released in your brain whenever you do something pleasurable, like right. eating, sex, and that's just nature, right? Like right. rabbits and fish and shit. They need dopamine so that they want to consume and reproduce. Okay. But because humans have progressed and now have access to all the shit they want whenever they want it, it's easy for them to overdo and have dopamine problems. You know, it's not fucking rocket science, this stuff. Yo, he is dropping gems right now. Holy shit. I was not expecting that from Satan. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. Here is a fact. 80% of alcohol sales are paid for by alcoholics. Using slot machine tactics, freemium games are able to make millions off of an even smaller percentage of mobile gamers. Oh, God, he just doesn't stop. Who is this guy? We're building this a new Canada dark, with bro. micropayments from addicts. Who cares? You think the fucking alcohol industry cares? They don't care that 10% are going to get addicted. They're counting on it. Oh, it's the my. Same with us. Yeah. We've got our eyes on every addict screen. Every button they click, we get feedback on how to shove this shit right down their throats. Why does he suddenly sound like Al Pacino in Devil's Advocate? Bro, I know this is South Park and it's supposed to be funny. But this episode is super duper real. On all aspects in regards to the whole in regards to the whole addiction situation. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm much worse than the devil. The 
Canadian Devil! <laughs> <laughs> what the oh hell? God, it's the Canadian Devil! Beelzebub! You discovered my plan, but too late! Now the souls of all Canadians belong to me! Oh no! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> hey buddy, where'd you go? Don't you want more Canada? What's this? That's what I've been addicted to. It's a freemium game sending me push notifications. Well, you just collect coins? How much money can you buy today? No, see, if something's addictive because it's fun, that's one thing. But this is just blatant Skinner box manipulation. <laughs> Wait Thanks. a minute. Who put this out? Uh, Canada? Oh, that son of a bitch. He's always doing this shit. I'm gonna need to borrow your soul real quick, kid. Is Yo, does right? he know the other, uh, devil? Okay. Pass interference! Interference! Stan, oh, damn. Where are you going? I shall return. Do not attempt to stop me. <laughs> Told you, kids got demons. I don't do that. <laughs> oh my god! Beelzebub, once again, you lack any sense of nuance. Where the fuck is that? Well, well, my overachieving doppelganger. You're no match for Canadian Satan. It's about to go Return down. Return from whence you came. Ah, watch it, yeah. This is like a Dragon Ball Z fight. Certainly a shocking turn of events here, as the actual devil has now appeared and seems to be fighting the Canadian devil. This is certainly the a connection for Canadian devil. The actual devil. So that tells you who's the real one. You feel me? South Park's devil is giddy. Thy end has come. Let's get it, dog. I think we won. Yes, sir. Hey, dude. Hey. Like it's nothing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to be okay. Okay. I'm going to move here and here, and then I'm going to roll to kill this zombie. Okay, good idea. Yeah, this is like a dope game. What are you game. Gay doing? We're playing board games, so that Grandpa avoids the casino and I avoid freemium apps. Well, all right. Good for you guys. Tell you what, I'll join you. Board games go good with a glass of wine. That's not a glass. That's a trophy that you won <laughs> for drinking. It's not drinking. It's that looks like that uh that little John cup. You know what I'm saying? Where he had his um. What? Was it Crunk Juice? I think it was called Crunk Juice. It's called a Wine Zinfandel Sipping Sprint, and it's competitive. Get off your high fucking horse. Your turn, Grandpa. If you roll a five or six, you can kill these zombies. You guys want to put some money on it? Oh my god, Randy! You're not making it any better, bro. If anything, you're just taking them back to spending money. Bro, this was a very solid episode, and I see exactly why. Y'all wanted me to check it out. Shout out to everybody that went crazy in the comments suggesting and, and, and requesting this episode right here. I know it took me a while to get to it, bro, but it's because I want to follow the season in order. You feel me? But anyways, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet and join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.